the two most common problems that I see when I go to people's homes and help them fix up their home Wi-Fi are as follows. The first one is probably the most obvious, and that's that their Wi-Fi doesn't reach the basement or doesn't reach the other side of the house and that the signal isn't good enough to cover their entire home. The second problem I see very commonly is that the internet connection itself is intermittent and that there are occasional dropouts or, or problems with the service. And I've identified a very uh, common root cause that I want to show you. I'm going to share my screen and show you the event logs from a cable modem. And I see events and logs like this uh, quite frequently. And the thing that you can look for if you're experiencing issues with your internet connection is an error message like this. No ranging response received, T3 timeout. If you see a T3 timeout, that indicates a problem in the infrastructure, the local infrastructure of your internet service provider. And the way to resolve that problem is to call your internet service provider, tell them that you're having intermittent outages and service issues, and that you have found key three timeout errors in your modem's logs. If they're doing their job properly, they should log into your modem and check the logs with you and see these error messages. The first thing they're going to ask you to do is to factory reset your cable modem. That is a sign that the person you're talking to is not familiar with this error message and they're just following their standard script, in which case you can politely refuse and say that this is not a problem with the modem. T3 timeout is a problem with infrastructure. And the next thing they're going to do is ask you if the coax cable uh, in uh, within the context of a cable modem specifically, if the coax cable going from your cable modem to the wall has any bends or breaks or if it looks like it's messed up. And that can cause this problem. So inspect your coax cable and if it looks good, then push further and ask them to send a technician to your house. Once they send a technician to your house, they uh, the problem will often get resolved. And in fact, the technician uh, often doesn't even need to come into your house. They can do a lot of the work to correct this outside. And I've even seen cases where fixing a T3 timeout issue um, has actually helped out the entire neighborhood, uh, where there's a, uh, this problem was actually occurring for everybody in the neighborhood. And without anybody else knowing it, um, getting this resolved actually helped everybody. And so it's kind of a, a cool little side benefit sometimes, but, um, that is something worth looking for. And if you're having intermittent outages, problems with your cable modem connection, have a look through your cable modems event logs and see if there's anything like that. I hope that helps.